Have you ever held a photograph and wondered why it was in your box of photos? Or have you ever looked at your cousin's photos online and wondered who all of these people were? What kind of memories or sentimental value do these pictures have? Do you linger over these pictures of unknown people? Who are these two people in an old photo album from 100 years ago? No one bothered to write down who these people were. Or do you see your great-great-grandparents and know their story of how hard they worked on a farm and that those photos were luxuries they rarely could afford? Here's a picture of a group of children in uniforms. Who are they? Is one of them related to me? What is the reason for taking this photo? Were they in a parade? Where, do, where is it taken? Is that a school in the background? Did they play instruments? Or did they sing instead? Who was their teacher? We have been told that a picture is worth a thousand words. If this is true, why is it that we have unidentified photos in our boxes? Why is it we don't remember those stories after a couple of years? Why is it they no longer hold the joy they once did when we took them? Everyone has a story and it needs to be told. Yes, pictures help tell the story, but it's not the story itself. When documenting or journaling about the photos, tell the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. Here are some pictures of landscapes. Questions run through my head. I think of things like, what's the historical perspective of this photo? Was that building built by the Workers' Progress Administration back in the Depression? Or did they catch a mess of fish in that lake? If so, how big were they? What about the picture of these ladies? There are three generations represented. Was this at a family reunion? Was it a mother-daughter tea? What could it be? I did find this nurse. Someone had picked up a photo album, maybe at an antique shop. The caption read, from a mostly uncaptioned photo album, possibly North Africa, circa 1943. Who could this be? Why had she become a nurse? Was this a part of the war effort? What kind of music was popular back then? What's on the records at the bottom of the radio cabinet? This photo could have easily been captioned, me and my buddies. Which one is the me? Who are these three guys from World War II? Did they grow up together? Or were they each from a different part of the country? This man's name is Mansfield. The caption told me so. Here's some information that someone has written under a photo. Maternal grandfather, who was known by his middle name, Mansfield. He died in 1914, so I never got to know him. He was born in Tennessee. His father was a Union officer during the Civil War. As you can imagine, ex-Union officers were not popular in post-war Tennessee, so the family moved to Kansas. Mansfield's father died soon after the move from ills suffered during the war. Later, Mansfield homesteaded a farm in Ellis County, Oklahoma, and moved his large family there. His eldest son and his brother-in-law homesteaded adjoining property. Eventually, the entire property became one large farm. This family came to Oklahoma for a visit. Here's their perspective of how this photo came to be. Today our Kansas adventure took us southeast through Winfield, Arkansas City, and into Oklahoma. We drove west from Ponca City to Nash before turning right to come home. It was a great trip. When we crossed the border into Oklahoma on our outing today, the idea for this picture popped into my head. This is on our return to Kansas on K-179. The old water tower and grain elevator are in Oklahoma. Documenting your photos with a story adds meaning for others that look through your albums. Be creative. Maybe it's from a child's perspective, in his own words, of course. It could be from Great Aunt Myrtle's letters that she wrote to someone in the family. It might be the basic facts of who was on the cheerleading squad and the competition that was won. Or it could be how your grandmother met the other two nurses during the war and how they still keep in contact with each other. Whether the stories are long or short, digital or a physical scrapbook, they need to be told. And the sooner, the better.